Hello and welcome to something I don't know that I really expected to play ever, but well, I heard recently, uh, well not recently, but like a while ago anyway, that, that uh, Toki Tori 2 was a surprisingly good game. Uh, very in-depth and it's like a Metroidvania sort of thing, I think, and it's like uh, got a lot going, like surprisingly good uh, game design, all that junk. So, you know, I own the first one on Steam for some reason, I don't know why. It's like, one of those games I'm like, I don't know, am I gonna play this? But, well, since I heard that, I was like, you know, maybe I should take it out, and uh, maybe it's uh, something worth playing all the way through, maybe it's just a one-off. Uh, we got a blood, Tokitori needs your help, he needs to collect all the missing X, will you help him out? If you need to know the nitty gritty details on how to control Tokitori, consult the controls items in the boss menu. Sure, whatever. Um, yeah, and also, uh, you know, I recently just finished uh, a very long in-depth game, Final Fantasy VII. Uh, so I needed a little, little something easier and uh, simpler to understand and like uh, a, a break as well, you know, from something like that. So. Uh, a game like this seems seems like it could be something like a 2D puzzle thing. Uh, okay, so that button reverses time apparently. Uh, no, I don't want to do anything. I didn't actually check the controls, but uh, need the gamepad. It's not letting me press the gamepad. We need to. Use the mouse for that. This is a game from 2010, so you know, that's that. So that's scroll back, rewind, use item, scroll, next item, previous item. Pretty simple controls, I think. Maybe this was like on the Wii or something as well, or something. I don't know. It, <laughs> it's from 2010, so it could be. Uh, but if you know, it's a game that you know I knew about, but I didn't really know, you know, beca because it seems like such a Symbol kind of almost mobile game kind of thing going on um, So I'm mugging all these eggs and you're popping so that's that's something I'm doing So jump <laughs> Like that's one of the things uh, about this game apparently there's no jump It's kind of funny that I'm playing another game that actually doesn't have a jump button, but well Headlander that is uh, But whatever uh, These games are obviously very different from each other uh, Revive safe items, yeah, um, from other bridges for this level, okay, sure, stand and do a dual bridge, uh, impossible location, okay, so you can't build everywhere, that's fine, ready, so the first level wasn't really anything, so here's a gap, so I can make a bridge like that, cool. So yeah, I think this game is actually different from the uh, the sequel in, in that it's more of like a level-based puzzle game where the second one is supposed to be Metroidvania from what I heard. Uh, you know, meaning it's it's a completely interconnected uh, world, you can go back and forth, you get new items, that kind of thing. Uh, which. When, when I look at a game like this, that's not what I expect, so I am kind of interested in how that would handle. Uh, but you know, as a puzzle game kind of thing, uh, you know, I, I like puzzle games, I like 2D puzzle games, especially you know, platform puzzle games, even though there's not much platforming to be done here, but you know what I mean, like these kind of games. Anyway, uh, it is possible to get to stuck at some levels if this happens to be one of them. Uh, you can use a rewind feature. Uh, yep, alright, shoving. So it, it's pretty nice, it's pretty, you know, chill. Uh, it's not starting off pretty, you know, simple, as you, as you might imagine, but uh, I can also see how, how you can make a game like this complex, so. Yeah, so I'm stuck. Can't get out. So, press square. Okay, so. Interesting, it has, has specific locations, like I don't know how that exactly works in terms of rewinding. It's not like Braid where you can actively go where you want, like, and stop. Have like a set place you can go to apparently. 
Whoa. I died. Be Ryan? Okay, so if you're still Ryan, if you die, okay. Gotta get used to how this works. So can I bridge? I can bridge there, okay. Interesting. And... Okay, so... I see I have one missing, so, okay. So you would, so you win when you get the last one. Ah, I see, okay. So that's why that's there, I was like, well, why would you put one there if they couldn't get it? Is it just a trap? But yeah. Uh, so it's just hard now? Like, um, so it's weird that I can't actually go to it with my control. I have to use my mouse for this, but it's fine. Okay, so these are not unlocked yet, so there's bonuses. It's a bunch of levels, apparently. Uh, 80 levels, I think it says, on the Steam page or whatever. The telewarp enables Tuktor to warp himself to a new location, even when his destination is behind a solid wall. Uh, when the telewarp is activated, all possible warp destinations will show up. Pick one of the valid destinations. Uh, sure, is that enough room? You, he won't let you know, he can't. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not selecting. Okay. Sure. I'm sure it's not as complicated as it's this amount of text makes it seem. Okay, so I have and I'm a new item down now. And I can look and point and you go. So I didn't expect this chicken thing to be able to teleport. But here we are. So, yeah, and like, so you can walk up the ledges like that. I don't know if how big the ledge is, but I can walk up it, but I think I should be okay. Uh, I need to see more level, I use the right mouse button, you can also scroll. Uh-huh, sure. So, like, I can do this and scroll up and down. Oh. So I only get one here, yeah. So you wasted that, so yeah. Some else you get infinite and some you don't, I guess. Uh, yeah. So gotta be more careful here where I use it. Well uh what a headshot for like a what do you call those? Pocket pine, I think. They have those very spiky black and white quills. So I need to use it to get up there. Alright, and can I? I don't think I can walk across that waterfall, can I? Yeah, I don't think that's a thing. Um, there you go. Very simple, very easy. Uh, Gotta think a little bit. Uh, you can get stuck, that kind of thing. Uh, okay, so the okay, the white means that's where I am. Not yeah, that makes sense. The goal is the unselected. It's always a little confusing, which is which sometimes for me. Uh, okay, I'm okay, kind of confused. So you can change between them with the shoulders. Um, so. Okay, you can't stand on the. Okay, you can't stand on the waterfall. Okay, never mind. Maybe, maybe go to the other level. I don't know. Uh, there's something up there. Um, let's see. Do I want to? I have a teleport. Uh, and I have a bridge. So I need to use the bridge because I can't go back up. I only get one teleport. Yeah, so you get different different tools. Uh, you know, kind of reminds me of uh, Lemmings in that regard, uh, where you get witches, where you get that kind of thing. Like you can build, you can like change things, and you get a limited amount. Though obviously it's different from Lemmings in other ways. In in that I'm controlling the character itself. I can do a little. Oh, I'm I got dizzy. Oh no. <laughs> I was kind of... I didn't expect that. 
But yeah, it's fun. It's a good game, you know? Uh, like, the, the one thing that always kind of like, made me kind of like, eh, about it is that it, the style kind of like, screams mobile game, screams, you know, uh, maybe not a great experience in terms of flavor and like, in terms of, uh, what do we say, like, uh, oh yeah, you can only, okay, you can only go so far, okay, well I messed up then. Um, like, like, yeah, it, it, it doesn't, you know, doesn't have the graphical, like, you know, interest of other games like this, like, you know what I mean? Uh, it's simple. And that, that simplicity was always like saying, oh, maybe this is uh, kind of mediocre. But so far I'm like seeing potential here, seeing where it can go and it can get complex and yeah. Anyway, freeze on matter. Use the freeze on matter to fire an icy beam. Upon impact these beams will transform your enemy into a solid block of ice. Careful though, ice cubes can block your way. <coughs> Alright. So... I got a big old cannon. I mean... Can't deny that it's not what I expected. It, it, it's maybe a little bit jarring of a, of a of a of a tone like teleportation. Yeah, why not? Uh, uh, ice beam cannon, sure. So I can this will shoot them forever. Cause it's like the introduction. I mean, this is badly a level. It's like yeah, you, you, here's a tool. Mess around. This is the first world or whatever you want to call it. I'm sure they're just easing us in. Always a good thing. I wanna, you know, start off completely insane, you know? Okay, so I got infinite ice and I got three teleports. So... I think that's the last location I wanna be in, because I don't know if I can get out of that again. Can I? Maybe, I mean, it's possible that I can, like, you can teleport to where there is one of these, I don't know if that's what you want though, I don't think I'm probably messed up, I don't know, we'll see. So, I can get past you, and you're gonna be frozen forever, I think, cause, yeah, so. Yeah, I, I can't get out of here at all, I don't think. Yeah, I totally messed up. I had a feeling there was something iffy here going on. Uh, well, uh, nope. There we go. Gotta get used to how this works, so... I can't just drop down, I have to teleport like that if I want that. Okay. Well, yeah, it seems like, okay, you had to go in there first, because you can't get out, out of here again, so okay. Cool, that's cool. And then you can teleport behind. Yeah. You know, it, you, you gotta use your, your finger a little bit. Your brain sounds, as you might, might say if if you want to say that. I, I did, so that's why I said it. Hmm. Anyway. So, I only got one bridge in this level, eh? So... Uh, not sure why I can use that. I mean, kind of seems like I would mess this up, didn't I? Yeah. Huh. Cause now I can't get back out. Uh, so you can restart the level completely, I guess. Not sure if that's preferable to rebinding, if it's faster or whatever. Um. So, huh. So I have to go this way? Seems like it. Okay, yeah, you can make a bridge there. Alright. Gotta think of bridges. Gotta think... Where can a bridge be? And when do I need to use the bridge? 
Is it, is, it, is it a good timing? Is it a bad timing? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, let me show out one screen level kind of things going on. Uh, I like the bonus levels. Oh my. How special. Okay, you cannot solve a level. You can try using the wild card. You can activate it from the pause menu. You'll make sure you can change the next level instantly. You only get one more card, but you can regain it by going back and completing the level properly. Oh, that's nice. I can do that if I get stuck ever. Maybe that'll be helpful because if I want to do this for a full series, you know, um, I, I can maybe get stuck in a level and it wouldn't be fun entertainment. So I think I have to do that there. I have one ice cannon. I'm not sure if I have to use all my tools, like if there's ways to skip things. I don't know if, if it's one of those where you gotta. Maybe I can solve it multiple ways, or if there's only one specific thing. I don't know. So... Yeah, I can't really... Okay. No, I have... I, what I have to do, I think, is go here and teleport down. Can't teleport to... Oh, they're coming after me. <laughs> uh, to just empty air. Because, yeah, I only get one ice gun. Whatever you want to call it, ice cannon. It's, it's, it's weird. I'm a, I'm a chicken with an ice cannon thing. I don't know. I don't get it. Anyway. But, yeah. <laughs> and I already see how this can get interesting and complex. Whoop, I don't know if I want it to fall down now. But I have. Well, I can do that. I can infinite ice cannon, so... Use them how I want. But maybe sometimes you don't want to use them. I don't know. Um, I can't do much here. Can I get back anywhere? I can't teleport over there. Yeah, this is also maybe one of those games where you guys kind of gotta mess around. No, not, not you know, plan ahead. Just see what you can do and maybe get lucky. <laughs> So I also play these games a lot. Uh, well, maybe I can still. Mm, mm, yeah, I don't. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's why. Make her confused. When you press the square button, essentially, you go into the rewind menu. I thought that, okay, yeah, I thought that you moved after you, s like, stopped holding it or whatever, but it goes into this menu, you can press left and right, and, yeah, anyway, um, so I don't think I did this right, so I think I have to reset loud pretty much, so, I think, seemingly I, ha I have to do which uh, do I? Maybe. I think so. And then um, go here. And there you go. Wait, oh, I mean, there you go. I forgot I had one left, but that was the last one for some reason. It's fine. Okay, um, is a cutscene moment? I don't know, like... Is that a boss? Mm, that's a thing this game. I don't know anything really. I've only really seen a very tiny amount of screenshots and tiny amount of gameplay maybe. Well, it, it went to the next world, so I, I already beat 12 levels, um, and I don't know if the hard and the bonus, like, are included in the, in the levels, or, like, I think it said 8 levels, um, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it said 8 plus. 
So I'm kind of thinking like how many worlds were that and how many levels? Maybe there's different levels for worlds as well, maybe? I don't know how it works. Anyway. So these are hard levels. I wonder if they had comparison to the levels I beat. Um, hmm. This isn't gonna do like... Well, I could do that, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't get out of here. Um... Huh. Okay. I think this will maybe work. Let's help one there. And... Oh, you can't go out there. Oh, that's too thick. Ah, huh. okay. Okay, let's see here. Um, hmm. So. But, um, like you would have to uh, get two teleports, one in and one out. I need both. Yeah, I need both there because it's, well, well, no, I don't like. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Cause yeah. Okay. Okay, there may be something. Cause. No, no, there's one down there. Okay, I was thinking I, I could end it in there, but no, I can't. Cause there's one down there. I have to end it on that one, I believe. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. There's no way. Yes, yeah, this is this too. Oh, I can go from down there though. Okay. So. Huh. How's it gonna work? So... If I want this here, I need to do that, but... There's no way I can get across here again. Alright, this is already starting to get kind of complex, cause... Hmm, let me... Okay, well, whatever. I want to restart that battle anyway. Um... So I don't necessarily need to do these, cause these are... Side levels, I guess. But maybe I'm curious to try them out, out. I don't know. Uh... Like... Well... Okay... Maybe... Maybe if you... It's not impossible to do something to this. Uh, no, okay. That's fine, actually. Is it? No, it's not. It's not fine. Yeah. Well, actually, okay, you can do that. Alright. I found out a way. Right. Yes. Okay, I I may have been overcomplicating things. I may have been overcomplicating things there. So that's what the hard levels is like. You can already see how they can get difficult. Um, but let's say a new world. Just 
So there's different worlds, I guess, at least, to change out the look a little bit. Anyway, manage to guide the story to the creepy castle by completing all the levels and forest falls. You have also unlocked additional hardwells for the world. This will happen each time you complete any world. Hard levels can be freely selected from the level select. Try them if you push us. Now it's time to explore the creepy castle. Good luck and beware of the lava. Ooh, lava, eh? Oh, these are in cages. But I can just unlock them anyway. Oh, I'm not allowed to. To put a bridge there, apparently. Strange. Seems a very bitch like area. But what do I know? Huh. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll teleport. Um. I think I have to go down there. I can do it here though, right? Yeah. And you don't fall between one tile things because you're a big old chicken guy. You're a big, big, big fat chicken. You look like uh, something you'd find in a, in like a, you know, dollar store on, on Easter or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Bricks in your way, place them behind you by using the quick switch item. Make sure that there's enough room behind you though. Okay. It's a new item. So you only get six in total and we've already got the fourth item so I wonder how many like if if, if the world are gonna each world is gonna have a new item from this point on or if they're gonna introduce multiple in the world and I don't know. Anywho, yeah, this is, yeah, these, these levels are relatively simple, uh, these tutorial levels essentially. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely more meat to it in the hard level, that, I can tell that already. I think the regular game's not going to be too difficult really, but maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's going to surprise you. So you can't, it's, it's weird, you can't do it all the lava. That's interesting. So, how do I get there? Could you maybe, hmm, that's an idea. Well, no, no, you, no that wouldn't work actually. But you could teleport down there. Hmm. Well, I think I can make it over there, can I? Okay. Yeah. Teleport is something you gotta consider. Uh Okay, yeah. Hmm. So I have one left over. That's interesting. Where am I supposed to use that? Maybe I was supposed to use it uh like, like if I was supposed to teleport and like barely make it. I don't know. Uh, one more level I think I have time for. The ghost trap creates a magical trap beneath Toki Tori. When a ghost flows by, the floor will break and the ghost will fall through the hole. The ghost trap will only work when Toki Tori is standing on a brick floor, so don't try using it on wood. Okay. Hi. Ow. <laughs> so... Eh? Okay. Hmm. Wait. What? Okay. 
weird. I didn't know. I didn't. I don't think I understood that quite. But now I, I think I get it now. Okay. Well. Uh. Yeah. You know what? I think I can play this through. It don't, doesn't seem super long. Uh, I'm already in the second world. So if I only want to do the regular levels, it probably won't take long. And maybe if I'm interested, I'm gonna do the the bonus and the hard levels, cause you know, uh, maybe there's not a lot of content in this game. It's hard to say. Uh, just regularly, you know. Like the levels are very short, so you know, um, probably won't take super long to beat, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, I, I like. I can definitely see why there are people who like this game. I can definitely see uh, some potential in terms of puzzling. Uh, it's simple, but it can get complex. It's always uh, the best kind of puzzle games, I think. Um, so yeah. Uh, and maybe, maybe if I finish this game and I'm interested in playing the sequel, maybe I'm going to do that at some point because uh, the sequel is supposed to be better in every way and uh, more interesting and in depth and everything. And I mean, hey, the the the, the first game seems pretty decent so far. So yeah. So that's Toki Tori. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's what I'm saying. Um, I don't know what the name means anyway. What, what, what is it? Like, what, 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 what is it? Like, it means nothing. But, well, I guess I shouldn't be one to speak um, on names. Anyway, that's it. See you next time.